So what do we really know about aircrete? And the answer, surprisingly, is not that much. Because even though aircrete's been around quite some time, when other people talk about aircrete, they're not talking about our aircrete. And our aircrete, I believe, has been around about 10 years. Based on last time I was in Thailand was about 10 years ago. And that's when Dong Gaya was doing their thing up in the north. And I remember thinking, well, this is novel. I need to go check that out when suddenly I didn't. But that's another story. Uh, a couple years later, Hajar's uh, my neighbor down here on the island, and uh, I go up there and I buy a bunch of his equipment and use his formulas and quickly discover that what he's calling foamcrete isn't the structural foamcrete or aircrete of the time, but the stuff that they were using to fill uh, plastic uh, things for those pontoons for the floating docks and whatnot. Turns out it works pretty okay as a structural material, but it's not what other people have been talking about. So when they say aircrete thus and thus, it doesn't really apply to us. So we have to do everything all over for ourselves. And that's partly what I'm trying to do here. Um, Another thing about aircrete is that people who do know the difference, people who have been familiar with structural aircrete, uh, try to mathematically adjust for our half density aircrete that we use. And um, I have found that although it works a little bit uh, for certain calculations, you never know when it's suddenly not going to work. And an engineer kind of confirmed this for me when I took a sample of, of it to him and, and uh, says, you know, what about creep? And the thing about creep, creep, in case you don't know, is, is the tendency of concrete to sort of collapse over time. It, like columns get a little bit shorter and spans get, you know, a little bit bowed in the middle and stuff like that. It takes 20, 25 years to develop. So it says, what about this stuff? Is this going to be subject to creep? And he said, well, you know, it's 70 times weaker than regular concrete, but it's only about one-sixth the weight. So, in essence, uh, we'll know a lot more in 20 to 25 years. So, you know, stay tuned for that. But uh, I can tell you right off uh, some of my own observations is that there is no simple arithmetic formula that will uh, be able to transform aircrete to aircrete. Uh, for example, if you saw my ballistic aircrete video, which you probably didn't because that was a different channel, but anyway, uh, I took a standard uh, NIJ level 2, threat level 2 gun and shot a piece of actual uh, 40 pound per cubic foot aircrete, and the bullet went in about 4 inches. So then I poured up a block of our aircrete thinking, well, 8 inches should stop it because it's half the density. So I'll make it at least a foot, and that way we'll be able to, you know, see where where we fall. Uh, long story short, the bullet is lost out in a hillside somewhere in the desert. It's uh, in fact I tried it with a bunch of different guns, and I found there is really no way to calculate the ballistic efficiency um, through simple arithmetic. It's just it doesn't translate. And uh, I'm afraid that there may be a lot of other areas where you can't just make assumptions like that. And yet we do. So uh, that's something we need to investigate, actually perform the experiments. Um, I would say, so there's two major reasons we don't know anything. A third would be um, simply what what you would call single point data. Um, as an analyst you want to see multiple streams of data coming together converging at some point somewhere. That way you, you can kind of predict where this is going to land. You can say well all these things mean that people are coming to similar conclusions from different aspects and, um, and that, that's going to be a fairly reliable conclusion. Uh, what we have is kind of the opposite. We have a single point and it just branches out. Somebody says something somewhere, it goes, uh, people, you know, because there's not that much information, people just pick up on that and go, okay, I'm going to put that 
in my thought processor and, and keep that for later. But the trouble is life is not a snapshot. It's, it's a video. You can't just take one shot and say, okay, we're good on this point. And, and you don't know where that guy got his data. Because most of the time when I trace something back, it's either just some guy's opinion or it's uh, something he heard from an unknown source or whatever. He doesn't have um, his source data there. And sometimes you do. Now, I'm not saying that's always the case. Uh, one of the biggest ones that I've been seeing like over and over again is, is, is David South's uh, little rant about our values. Um, David was uh, a, another dome builder, but you know, re regular concrete domes, monolithic domes. <clears throat> and he was an educated man. He knew what he was talking about. But that doesn't mean the people who are quoting him or referencing him have any idea what he's talking about. Now, I don't want to be the kind of guy who just bitches about things and doesn't offer uh, any, any solutions. Um, I do want to be the kind of guy who offers solutions but doesn't actually have to participate in them in any way uh, because that's, that's easier for me. Uh, I am going to continue making videos where I try, try to take a subject and examine it, uh, like an aspect of Aircrete, and, and find out more data about it. But that's really not enough. You, you, we need some kind of a Wikipedia for Aircrete, but not the Wikipedia, like an Aircretepedia. And I don't even know if we should use Aircrete, because it, it does confuse people. But I'm not really good with making up words. Maybe some of you are. Um, I used to call our aircrete uh, kind of like free range, you know, a, a little derisively because uh, it really, to me, I mean, everyone likes freedom, but I, I kind of like was meaning like free of the constraints of like engineering, stuff like that, um, free spirited, that sort of thing. Uh, but but it just it doesn't really describe what we're doing, and so I kind of thought, well, <clears throat> how about hobbyist aircrete? But it's not really a hobby for some people. They're building their houses, and so it's it's more like consumer grade maybe aircrete. But <clears throat> I feel I feel like that both of those terms, perhaps all of them, are a bit dismissive and and slightly perhaps condescending. So I've just uh, been calling it um, hippiecrete uh, for now, although I'm sure somebody, someone of you is going to come up with a better word, I hope. Um, but I would like to see us get some kind of a web page to share, like, not just knowledge, but actual useful things like spreadsheets. Because some of the things I'm going to go over in my upcoming videos are things that everyone's been asking about, but it's, it's, it's I, I can take a video, I can tell you the video, but unless you can do the math, you're not gonna, it's not gonna be useful to you at all. And I'm not saying you couldn't do the math, uh, you can, it's just boring and nobody likes it. Um, for example, catenaries. Everyone wants to say, well, what about catenaries? And they say, yeah, catenaries are great. Here's how to calculate them. It's gone. You know, no, no one cares anymore. But if I could make a spreadsheet that I could share on a web page, then you could go, oh, catenaries. I plug in this value and this value. Boom. There you go. Or if I say uh, your, your your dome, 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 dome has echo, echo, echoes, well, you can make a Helmholtz resonator. You go, okay, great. And I say, well, here's how to calculate it. Poof, gone again. Okay, but if I can make you a sheet where you can figure out what materials you're using and plug in your dimensions, boom, suddenly you can do that. That's nothing you can do through a video. You need an actual file that you can download and pop up on Excel. Um, sadly, I don't know much about web pages, so that is hopefully, maybe we could collaborate. I don't know. If you have solutions, please put them in the comments. I promise I will read them eventually.